Yes. Yes, indeed. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Happy Monday. Good old Monday. Monday, Monday. I think that's a Beatles song. Uh, I'd sing it, but I might get a copyright strike, so I won't sing it. Uh, I'll just mention it. It's a good song, though, if you haven't ever heard it. I think that's the Beatles. That's the Beatles. I don't even know. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah. Anyway. All right. So, uh, got this stuff. Fluffy pancakes. Probably gonna, I got to do one of those, uh, samurai quests. Okay, so... Let's uh, do this complete thing here. Hey, Butterbeef. Uh huh, uh huh. Sell that. This marbled meat is so tender that it practically melts in one's mouth. Might be a good Monday food. Uh. I guess one would have to determine all the stuff about the cow, which might be a little, uh, tough. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Pun. Pun. Might be a little tough. Tender meat. Anyway. Yeah, that sucker, uh, you know, the... The cow. I've mentioned this several times, and I feel that I must mention it again. As I mentioned me, you know, like, would that thing survive? You know, I mean, would it have been, I mean, there are bulls, there are buffalo, you know, the Native Americans ate buffalo. Would it still be, if people didn't eat the domesticated cow and bull, would they still be? You know, that, that's kind of, maybe that's, you know, that that's kind of how I, like, uh, I mean, other than just the taste and all that stuff, it's like nature is what it is and uh, people being what they are and if people didn't eat those things, would they even exist now? I mean, so many, like the, uh, well, I mean, people, the stool pigeon, uh, I believe that's a sad story. Yeah, you can look that up if you want to, I guess. I don't want to recount it. I don't particularly like to think about it. But, like, yeah, yeah it's a pigeon. It was a stool pigeon. That's what it's called. There's another word for it, another name. Can't remember it. But, yeah, people use that one. And now I believe it is extinct. Uh, but it was so useful. It was way too useful. I mean, it, uh, but maybe it didn't taste all that great. <laughs> sad as that is, you know, as, as terrible or whatever, you know, but the cow tastes good and the cow's still around. You know, the chicken tastes good and the chicken's still around, so, you know, maybe the way to not become extinct is to taste good to people, so that might, ah, you know, whatever, <laughs> for whatever it's worth, you know, uh, It's just like an evolutionary thing, you know, like, uh, let's 
certain things probably taste. <laughs> so we, by eating the cow, we probably saved the thing, you know. Uh, by eating the chicken, we probably we probably saved the chicken. So who knows? Uh, anyway, for worth that adventure was an adventure. Let me tell you. All right. Uh, Okay, uh, complete here. What what spawned all that? Oh, yeah, the slab of butter beef. Hmm, yeah. Palaka earrings of slaying. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, 85. Yeah, that's a keeper, I believe. Unfortunately, I don't like to keep this stuff because that's what I'm trying to do in leveling samurai and several things is to get rid of a bunch of stuff that... You know, it's really pretty, but I would probably not glamour night. Ah, oh, yes, yes, that's probably beautiful, and it's also useful. How about that? How about that? How about that? Uh, gotta love future useful stuff that's beautiful. What am I doing now? Oh, yeah, uh, trying to think, I guess. Yeah, oh, I gotta go do the samurai quest. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> Every single one of the things. <laughs> Our retainers are probably... It's, uh, beautiful and useful. Oh, isn't that nice with the full inventory? Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so this thing, let's see if I can stick it in there. No? Okay, I have too many useful, beautiful things. Wow. Okay, uh, 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 uh so what am I going to do with this? Uh, you know, it's really pretty. Uh, there's that. Oh, uh, it's a 24241 two, special. It's red. Ah, that's a nice color, red. Pretty rocks. Uh, okay, uh, so I either gotta make space for an earring or get rid of it, but I don't want to get rid of it because it can be useful for Reaper. The new class that was added on, and it's now there. Okay, so, uh, this thing probably beautiful. I have a problem with discarding beautiful things <laughs> in general. I just hate throwing... I'm a hoarder. I am. I'm a hoarder. And look how beautiful that is. That's very nice, obviously. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's even worse when they're useful. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Mart looks at me like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, get rid of it, man, go ahead, just try it. All right, so all of those at level 90 that I, of course, would have gotten just right on the cusp of the, uh, the patch for the level 90 stuff, uh, surely, without question, without fail, what was that, like five months ago? They would have brought me that without any hesitation, I believe. Uh, so, what have I got to do now? That's the new tombstone. What am I going to do now? That's what the game, that's what nature, that's what being has asked me. What am I going to do now? Okay. Uh, uh, i got to get rid of some weapons, I guess. What is this thing? Useful? I don't need that. It sure is pretty, though, but I don't really need it. Unfortunately, but it's relatively easy to get. Relatively easy to get. So I should probably decent size that thing. Unfortunately. 
Ah, uh, there it goes. Bye-bye, Mars Foil. I was going to do the same request, but I don't even have room to get the stuff from it. Now, until I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even uh, spoken with the retainers. What am I doing? Um, what am I doing? Indeed. There's a chocobo. Settle back. Stick that in there. Gotta be other stuff. Let's see here, here, here. And there also as well. That. That's probably beautiful, but it's not all that net. And you know, ah, that's cool and all. But I think that I have something else just like it. And again, it's the same level. So. Maybe I'll miss it one day. But if I drink enough, maybe I'll forget. Ha 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 ha. Horse chestnut lumber. Processed horse chestnut lumber. Um, decent, uh, successful. So that's uh, interesting, I believe. Anyway, uh, I got to do that. Sell that. And 915. That's probably the best way, right? Probably. Maybe. Could be. There it goes. And, uh... And what here? What have I to do with Balder Rod? And, uh, that one's really cool. I really like that one. I have the whole Balder tank set, I believe. But I don't think that I have the Balder black mage set uh got this thing and that's gorgeous that's beautiful that's absolutely incredible uh the awaited stars all right so let's move this thing over here i don't know why i don't just use the sort command uh, there's some reason. Uh, and one more weapon. Let's see. Get rid of one more thing. This thing. I need to glamour that because I really like that. That is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. I mean, it's this there. Well, yeah, you know that too. But like, uh, <laughs> all right. So this, you've got to, uh, yeah, look at all of that. What do you call it? Perfling, superfling, all that, uh, per, yeah, uh, lattice work. How about that? Well, I think lattices are houses, so it's not quite lattice work complete. But, uh, yeah, this thing, and, uh, you draw the thing, and bam, it blooms. Like a beautiful flower, like a beautiful crystalline, gorgeous flower. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I guess I should glamour that. Oh, uh, that means a trip to old Da. So, that's what I shall do, I suppose. And then there's that, and I gotta keep that, and that might take that spot, and that's where I need to go anyway, I believe, to old Da, in order to... Do the Samurai Quest, which is, which is what this freaking video is supposed to be about, I believe. Uh, so I got to go to the Ventures Guild. And I've got to uh, deposit something at the Adventurers Guild. 
little low for my taste, I believe. Uh, selling a bit of the beer. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and uh, that probably drop off. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe. Uh. Okay. Considering I do, you know, I lift the weights and I do the running and stuff. So yeah, a little bit of a uh, less of the uh, the yeast, <laughs> I guess, the grains, all that. And I would probably burn that away, but you know, whatever. I guess one must make one's choices and sacrifice what one will for whatever uh what was I doing alright I got something in my tooth sorry about that um so there's the glamour dresser yes Tistria uh see if we got a cool name Tistria that's Wow, that's gorgeous. Uh, it's so pretty. Pull it out. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. It's tree, and it's got a beautiful name. I wonder what it means. I don't know. It's probably in lore somewhere. Uh, yeah, well, let's glamour it. For the sake of it. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll have to uh, heal it repair it you know something with it okay go out there uh, 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 uh. you know I used to be able to repair all my own gear I believe it's been a while since I've done that uh, let's repair that too let's repair everything in my inventory uh, repair oh what are you doing inventory Alright, um, yep, history uh, that needs to be sold, I believe, uh, there it is, sell that thing, um, Alright, got an even number in there, 265. What day is it? Monday? Somewhere in there. Uh, and then this way, and then that way, and that way. Mm -hmm. uh, gotta hold on to those. I wonder if there are any earrings that I can get rid of. Uh, no, that's useful. That could be useful. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I doubt it. Uh, could be. Oof, I got a my tooth. One of my molars is freaking up. Uh, one of my wisdom teeth. Just. Uh, is. Uh, I think I've about got it. <laughs> Sorry. Might be a bit longer. Okay. So anyway, break it down a little more, maybe. And there it is. 
is on down this way. Probably could have just teleported there. But it's fun to walk the streets of Ulda, I believe. To enjoy walking the streets of old Da here. Uh, let me see. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, it's this way. I think. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and there we are at Musa Sai. say if I'm not a samurai? That would be the question, wouldn't it? Uh, what if I'm a blacksmith, man? Like, answer me this. I got riddles three, I got a hammer and an anvil. Ah! You are just cheerily loving the samurai. No comment for anything but the samurai. The mitosai. Mr. Sai Samurai. Yeah, it even kind of sounds similar, I believe. Um, uh, out of tea. You know what? I left the house uh, to go give a, a lesson, and uh, <laughs> I still got some of my tooth. Where's my food? I'm a bit. Eh, or I left my credit card here. Um, <laughs> I left it right here. Couldn't believe it. I would used it and then switched the pocket. Hmm, I think I got that thing into my tooth. Man, I look like a crab in that thing. Anyway, uh, or even a lobster, maybe. And that's probably the lighting. Maybe it's the liquor. Who knows? But I like it, yeah. I, uh, couldn't buy any tea. <laughs> Tried to go by Taco Bell, ordered the thing. No credit card. It's covered it in that crap. Anyway, uh, what do you got to say, Misa Sai? Uh,. Misa Sai, interesting gaze. Is it the gaze of the sun? Is it the gaze of the moon? I would wager that that's the sun there. Like, you know, somebody stuck money on it. I would say that's probably the sun. Uh, unless the moon has just exploded and ignited or... You know, somebody stuck a bunch of bonfire. Maybe it's the uh, Independence Day of the United States. Maybe it's the 4th of July. Like, uh, that's what it is, right? 4th of July. So, yeah, maybe it's the Independence Day. And uh, people have colonized the moon. This is not even that world. I don't even know why I have to bring that up. Mr. Sai regards you with the piercing gaze. Well, let's see what you have to say, Mr. Piercing Gaze. Aha, people. Uh, I wonder what this guy would sound like. Probably something like that. Uh, who knows? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, maybe not that. Uh, maybe. Ah, uh, yes. In your gaze, I see the stirrings of a newborn samurai. It is plain the stone has already bequeathed some of its memories unto you. Well, you know, Mr. Misasai, uh, 
the stone. It, uh, I was sleeping with it under my pillow. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I was, it, it was under my pillow and, uh, Sure enough, like, uh, these, these memories, uh, I was having these dreams about, like, uh, you know, uh, climbing trees and, uh, <laughs> like all these, all these chicks were, like, turtle waxing this, this beautiful car, and it was like, uh, wow, the, the memories of bequeathing and, and uh, all that stuff. Ah, yes. Anyway, uh, in your case, I see the stirrings of newborn samurai. Just playing the stone has already bequeathed some of its memories. Uh, yep, still uh, still being bequeathed, I believe. Uh, not sure who those uh, ladies were. I was thinking, you know, the dude from the Pugilist Guild's uh, youth, maybe, but if it was you and your stones, well, uh, uh, hell knows, I suppose. Hell knows. Anyway, uh, it's having the memories is one thing, mastering them quite another. We. <laughs> that's, that's different now. No, those weren't the memories that I got. It was like, uh, you know, fighting and bloodiness and, like, people having their feet chopped off and, uh, you know, arms just hacked off the elbows and uh, there were some, you know, haircuts, like barber shots, you know, like people were uh, using the samurai swords to... Uh, Do like a three inch above the shirt collar kind of okay maybe nobody was doing that nobody nobody was doing that at all all right anyway yes having the memories is one thing mastering them quite another <laughs> well now now I gotta take you seriously <laughs> with all the freaking you know women watching your cards like uh, <laughs> you must have had something at some point. Oh, you still, that wasn't all that long ago. I think they were doing it with like white sponges or squeegees. It was, was it your hair? It might have been, it might have been Miso Sai's hair. I don't know. Somebody's hair somewhere. Maybe it was just sponge. Probably from the ocean floor. Who knows? Ah, yeah, man. Yes, having the memories is one thing. Mastering them quite another. We shall see how well you fare against me. Prepare yourself, young samurai. We begin as soon as you are ready. Well, the uh, narrator there. Let's see if I can do it. Also, oh, such a boat toss as well. No. Uh, let's see. What's the uh, uh, Yoshida? Yeah, I think that's uh, if I can speak Japanese. I don't think that I've ever. I have heard him speaking. He's he talks like Sinatra. If you've ever heard like Frank Sinatra talk, uh, he sounds just like him. I bet that dude can sing. Uh, Yoshida, I bet, I bet he can sing like a, like an angel. Anyway, uh, let's see, how did I, you have learned, <laughs> that's not, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't do that probably, uh, you have learned all samurai actions and traits to level 50. Congratulations. Detailed descriptions can be viewed in the actions and traits window. Oh, that's nice. 
accessed under character in the main menu. Where's that coffee? That was some pretty good coffee. I think I might have stuck whiskey in it. Mm, probably. Yeah, anyway. Uh, let's see if I... Uh, nah, because I don't speak Japanese. Even try it. Let's, let's do what we're doing. <laughs> yes. Straight ahead, straight on. Samurai, samurai. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's you. Oh, I think he wants to fight me. Isn't that wonderful? Um, uh, yeah, you know, might be all right. Uh, this is the entrance to the hypogeum. 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 You know, the fighting ring thing. Anyway, uh, Okay, uh... Yeah, he's got a very... <laughs> interesting cadence. Uh, does Yoshida... He, uh... Very, uh... Interesting kind of a... Inflection. Kind of does the spread of the la horn, yeah, kind of a lot. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess I have to do this. What does this say? <laughs> Having ex <laughs> don't do it. Having express, yeah, I can't do it now. Anyway, I think my voice is kind of gravelly having expressed his approval at your transformation into a samurai Mr. Sai bid you make your final preparations for your duel a word from you and it begins a word alright um well uh, Let's see what's going on. You are ready then. Good, good. Let us take to the arena. <laughs> uh, the maximum allowed level. It will be synced as follows. Level 52. Duty calls. Commence battle for Master Musasai. Sure, yeah, let's do it. Uh, all right. Gather you round and bear witness for another brave challenger has appeared. Next face, Mr. Sire, sword, master of the far east, we have. Our titterous adventure. Somebody shouting <laughs> somewhere that, uh, you know, <sighs> apparently, uh, they're trying to, uh, what did they say? Hold it right there. No one gets to take down that old bastard except me. But roll the last standing. Scourge of the sands. Hmm. Last Standing. I wonder where you got that title. That could be fun. Quite beautiful. Scourge of the Sands. I hope he wasn't like, uh, you know, harming the sands too badly. Uh, oh, that's quite the, uh, 
coif and the, uh, you know, motif. Well, wow. uh, there are other things there. <laughs> they're quite the, uh, their nature. Beryl Ald, uh, I wonder what he would sound like. Probably, ah, oh, freak knows. Like, uh, <clears throat> You made a fool of me earlier. <laughs> Probably not like that. Uh, maybe a little more pure than that. I mean, he's got the blonde hair, and a lot of times people with blonde hair have, you know, they're not so gravelly. Uh, let's see. Uh, you made a fool of me earlier. Well, I don't know that he would speak. Well, whatever the, you know. Well, I mean, I guess I could go with, you know, the old on accent uh, I don't even know what that would sound like desert people what a desert people uh, they typically have most of the people that are in the deserts uh, uh, there's some there's the Sahara desert there's like the Egyptian accent you know and then there's the uh, Saudi accent that's desert it's all desert over there uh, but then there's like you know the North American desert which is like uh, <laughs> Nevada and all the Indians of the plain, uh, Native Americans. Why did I, of the plains? So it's like, uh, uh, what's the Saudi accent sound like? That might not be so bad. Uh, it's kind of Saudi. This whole area is kind of uh, Saudi. So like, uh, what would that be like? I mean, it's you know, it's. It's like straight out of Arabian Nights, kind of, uh, old, uh, and all that, uh, so it'd probably sound, you know, somewhat Islamic, probably, like, uh, I can't even remember what that sounds like, uh, the metaphor of me earlier, but this time there'll be no tricks, this time I fight with my own sword. Not that pathetic excuse. Well, that's kind of French, though. I think I'm hovering too. I would need to listen to a Saudi act. Who is a Saudi? I mean, like, who's a person that speaks Saudi that I can even remember? Like, uh... It's been so long since I've heard anyone speak Saudi. Uh... Ha, ha, ha. Ah, a poo, but that's Indian. It's close to that, though. Uh, <laughs> nothing seems to be coming to mind. Um, Gotta be something. Where's that coffee? Maybe that will crank it out of me. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yes, very much. Uh, let's... Oh, if I could even remember like one single phrase. Let's see. Uh, no, that's Israeli. <laughs> Jordan. I think I've heard the King of Jordan speak, but that's that's not the same either, I think. Uh oh yeah. <laughs> that phrase. Well, gas prices that I heard <laughs> or gas sales or something uh let's see you made uh, I'll commit you made the fool of me earlier I'll commit you made the fool of me earlier this time there'll be no tricks this time I fight with my own sword uh oh, that's that's no, that's not right either. <sighs> Maybe I can do it later. I would have to listen to some 
because it's been just so long since I've heard. You may have fooled me earlier, but this time there'll be no tricks. This time I fight with my own sword, not that pathetic excuse. And it me. Is that close? Is that someone? Uh, you might have fooled me earlier, but this time there'll be no tricks. This time I fight with my own sword. <laughs> That's French again. Um, oh, I can't remember. There was a... Ah, well, I mean... <laughs> A man fooled me earlier. Let's see. Yeah, I've seen some of the videos with the, uh, who are they? The, uh, Taliban or whatever. <laughs> That's taliban accent, I believe. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do that kind of thing. Um. <laughs> some, yeah, the, uh, you made a fool of me earlier. But this time there'll be no tricks. This time I fight with my own sword, not a pathetic excuse for needle you handed me. I don't think he would sound that old. That's probably a. That's what I get. That's the coffee and the booze. <laughs> Let's see if I can make him sound. You made a fool of me earlier, but this time there'll be no tricks. This time I fight with my own sword, not a that excuse for needle you handed me. Uh, something like that. I think I've been closer to it. Uh. Uh, apparently, uh, what's going on anyway, you know. Uh, apparently the dude gave him a sword to fight him. Uh. Yeah, I don't know that I would like that myself. <laughs> yeah, let's fight. Here's a sword here. <laughs> that would be yeah, let's play cards. Uh, let's use my deck. Uh, you know, I mean, no, I'd probably do it anyway just to see, maybe. Uh, I just have to really watch it, maybe inspect it, bash it against a couple things, and... Uh, <laughs> see what's going on with it. Yeah, anyway. Uh... What's this? Bone-headed bear wall. So roundly trounced. But Momtko hasn't veiled the blood since. Uh, it wasn't all that long ago, I guess. Uh, <sighs> those who came in late, he is the disgraced gladiator who was cast out to cause him for. And I paraphrase, being an all around the odious brute. Hmm. I guess he might have uh, farted at the audience, maybe, or like uh, taking a big old dump on the sands. I, I, I really don't know, you know? <laughs> what are you going to do? Like, uh,. What are you going to do at a gladiator ring where, like, two people are trying to hack each other up to get kicked out? <laughs> that's, that's hilarity, kind of. Yeah, that's that's funny. Uh, maybe, you know, flinging, flinging turds at the audience. That would do it, probably, you know? <laughs> that would... That would definitely do it. I mean, especially if you ain't got, like, no, you know, psychiatric 
ward or whatever, you know, people are just trying to hack each other to bits on the sands. You, what can you do with somebody that's willing to just like grab their turds and throw them at people? Anyway, uh, <laughs> maybe did something else. I really don't know. The rules were plain and you agreed to them. There were no tricks. That's a nice profile. Well, that's beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. Those shadows, man. That's... That's, uh... <laughs> Take a photo of that. Wow, that's that's really nice. That's those lines. That that nose. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> anyway, the rules were planned, and you agreed to them. There were no tricks. Just a mouth. Fight me again. <laughs> again. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to go towards the French a little bit, I think. I gotta shut your mouth and fight me again. And it is kind of French, though. I mean, you know, the French kind of takes the... Uh, wow, look at that angle. Ah, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, maybe I'll just go a little French with the guy. I mean, you know... Who knows what old ass sounds like. Maybe it is a little French. I mean, they do wear the, you know, there are quite a number of little people that wear the, uh, the, the bidets. <laughs> they wear the bidets on their, uh, what do you call it? Berets, yeah. Such eagerness for blood. The warriors, the slanderous naked blades. Distraction out the way. We may continue where we left off. You know, I don't think that this dude's from old uh, so he probably has, you know, <laughs> probably completely misconstrued that. Anyway. Maybe you trick me. Maybe so. Who knows? All oh, the complications. Uh. Oh, crap. <sighs> it's been so long since I've, uh. uh done this thing. Uh, now then, uh, let us see how well you wield the katana. Come at me with all uh, your might. Well, then, uh. Yes. Aha. And some stuff. Uh, and there's no need to hold back. Okay. Well, um. Oh ho. Oh ho. So I would imagine. <laughs> This individual, the stone harbors techniques of the samurai, he must draw them forth. Uh, 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 I would imagine that Musasai probably. 
has somewhat of an oriental accent, so it'd be like a... This on <laughs> How many times? Alright, anyway, um... Yes! Let's all bled, stupid street. There are you and these... Uh, again, what am I doing? Where is that even coming from? Uh... Good precise movements. <laughs> I can keep doing maybe anyway to draw up forth <laughs> that's almost I mean that's like a gypsy kind of thing he does look kind of gypsy though I mean he's got that feel but uh let's see here uh, so many to draw up forth such strength from the stone that wasn't to draw forth such strength from the stone in so short a time for an ordinary man. You know, uh, well, he kept leaving droppings all over my room, you know, like the, uh, you know, I had the stone and like, uh, <laughs> it was like, you know, I would wake up in the morning and like, uh, where did all these pieces of, you know, pudgy rock come from? And I was like, ah, that thing's dropping, dropping rocks all over the, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, uh. As promised, I shall bestow upon you the rarest of king and treasures, training in the way of the samurai. What's this matter? Techniques are not found in this land, hence their great worth. My pupil, you train and my watchful eye, learn even the most puissant of my techniques. <laughs> I would imagine this is probably... Why? 
Good luck, bastard. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, they're fighting. There wasn't even any coin in it. What's this? Bone had to bear all this back. This time he's brought friends and doesn't know when to give up. Uh, that would probably be a bit different than that. Uh, anyway. Yeah, the problem. Come down here and say it. Point was a sense the treasure is an object, let alone coin. Besides, winning it was well beyond you. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Uh, winning it was well beyond you. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, because of the... Right, the training, probably, yeah. Uh, or something. Who knows what. Set the hills up. This time I'll show you my true strength. Strength lies in numbers, it seem. Very well. If you insist on another trouncing, then so be it. But know that this time <laughs> I'm going towards the Russian now. I just I need to listen to some to some stuff. Uh, what's the? Because this dude here probably sounds Oriental. Uh, notably, since he's a samurai, probably Japanese. Uh. And for the life of me, the bourbon seems to be ripping all of my <laughs> ah, Japanese accents. Oh, let's see here. Uh, that might actually be close. It's not close. It's not even close. I need to listen to some and imitate and probably speak with them. Uh, that would probably help. Right. Right, Martin, probably. Uh, cheers. Three cheers. All the cheers. Uh, tug a lug. Let's see. Um, Even a I saw oh, your, uh, your strength lies, your strength lies in numbers. It seems very well. If you insist on another trouncing, then so be it. But know that this time, it is not I who will deal it, but my pupil. Hey, that that might have been pretty good. I think that I might have hit that one. Uh, oh, I might have to fight that too. too. All right. Uh, maybe you'll leave <laughs> or save it for another time because this is taking a while. But yeah, uh, yeah, I like that one. Uh, let's see if I can repeat. Your strength lies in numbers. Uh, curling the R's again, I think. Your strength lies in numbers, it would seem. Very well. If you insist on another trouncing, then so be it. But know that this time it is not I who did it, but my pupil. Well, that's not at all like I did it last time, but it's still pretty... <laughs> I mean, it's still the same kind of feeling and accent and everything. Uh, 
Mm. I think I bit my tongue. Oh, well, hey, those are some nice feathers there, Mark. Uh, you'll stop. Every time I start it different, why? It's like there are 50 different, yeah, anyway. It's got to find the right, uh, right pathway, I guess. See your potential firsthand. He and his ilk ought not pose you any trouble. Whatever he is, take care of him too. Uh, looks like it's gonna come down to that. Well, uh, fun, fun. Defeat the Barrowald. Alright. Oh dear, this. This is the script that has become a free fall. Challenger against Tom Well, I'm Loyal Grunt. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, I guess that guy does. I mean, I wonder if uh, kill him. <laughs> the hell's he doing? <laughs> that would be interesting. For <laughs> I don't know about that one. That the hell's he doing? That sounds. But you know, kill him. <laughs> it ain't no duck shoot. It ain't no running shoot. All right. Oh, what was that? What did that say? I don't know. It's probably that same thing about the coin. I would have wager. Yeah, Bob, bloody with the coin. Probably the same thing. Uh, uh the hell is she doing? Maybe one more. the alpha there I think you know I mean like if the sun you know and like your back and you were looking at that <laughs> you wouldn't know it's a man or a woman probably and it would be like bright and shiny over the boobs and whatever else area it would just be kind of interesting looking ah well all right. Uh, well, what do you got to say? Bloody hopeless, the lot of you. So, your puny sword fares against an axe or two. 
Uh, what did he say? Hurry up and make hurry up and make him dead already. Axes, uh, hack him to pieces. Uh, okay, more hears, more hears. Uh, what? What is it? Gods? What? Uh, oh yeah, that right. Well, um, hurry up. Uh, and uh, I came to pieces. I came to pieces. Hmm. Yes. All right. Well, uh, that seems to be the. You say anything? If I get close to you, you gonna any words of encouragement? You don't think I need them? Nothing. Nothing to say. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I heard a bird chirping somewhere. Uh, let's see. Hey, my retainer is finished. That might be encouragement. Uh, yep. And uh, hey, my. Plus two region there. Come on there, region. Um, what is that? Oh yeah, it's probably the. Uh, I've seen this. Physical damage up and breaking. True warrior of light could. So that's cool. I think. Anyway, ah, uh, Mr. Loyal Grunte. Um, yeah, well, it's probably good timing. I think, uh, well, well, well. Bah. If I want something done right. Oh, here we go. No one beats me in my Coliseum. No one. His Coliseum, huh? Oh, bro. Doing his own fight. Fine. Oh, no, that was, uh... Yeah, never mind. Ah, uh, student samurai. Student samurai versus Grizzle Gladiator. Who prevail in this clash to good and ugly. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, clearly I'm not a... Well, I mean, you know, I am... Uh, e2 samurai or something so yeah uh, you gear up enough and you too can <laughs> spend 30 minutes on a five minute instance aha blood stain uh well here we go yarg right Aha! They are both Alamegan, so maybe it's like a yeah, it's an Alamegan thing. Uh, yeah, probably. Now, what are you doing now there? Just saw this. I'm gonna make a hurt hole, man. It's the last thing I do. Yeah. Uh, wonder what I'm supposed to do now. Uh, is that done? Then allow me. Ha ha ha, not even worth showing my plate. Well fought, young one. I haven't seen all I need to see. Hmm. 
And the winner is the challenger. What fearsome fighters, these samurai. Let's give them a rousing applause. Uh, yeah. Well, uh... Yeah, um... Uh, speak with my side. All right. Uh, no sooner are you introduced to the crowd than Berwald, the gladiator whom Mustafa earlier thrashed, disrupts the proceedings and demands a rematch. Unimpressed, Musasa calmly cuts his sword in half and sends him fleeing as quickly as he appeared. With that distraction out of the way, you square off against the elderly Hingan and succeed in besting him though you get the sense that he held back. Nonetheless, Musa Sai he's ample praise upon you and offers you your reward, training in the way of the samurai. Before you can form a response, however, Berowald disrupts the proceedings yet again, and this time he has brought friends, believing you more than capable. Musa Sai leaves you to attend the uninvited guests, which you hand Lily do. Hand Lily. Hand Lily. Hand Lily. <laughs> you do it with your hand and a lily in it. In desperation and frustration, Barrowell turns his fury upon Mr. Sai, only to be sent sprawling by the old man. With that, your eventful challenge comes to an end. Indeed. Hmm. Handily. Hmm. Yes, it's, it's quite far away. <laughs> Maybe, uh, oh, it's, it's, yes, the words are a bit close together at that distance. Anyhow, uh, let's see. What was I doing? Uh, carpenter, blacksmith. This thing, you say anything? Oh, no, yeah, no, okay. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's relatively early, I guess. It's only nine. Nine, nineteen. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so, got Moose aside there. And, uh, yeah, starting to get the hang of kind of an oriental accent. Even though, probably the accent of a spy. <laughs> Yeah, the, <laughs> the Oriental. Okay, trying not to be Japanese. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think I might need to go use the uh, Carmack stair or the uh, facilities. That room, maybe. I don't know. Um, this thing. Pay no attention to what I'm doing here on the wall with the shield. Uh, veritably.
<laughs> Hello. Yes. Welcome back. All right. <laughs> Okay, um, well, pay no attention to, uh, whatever's around that shield there. I'm sure it will, uh, work itself out, I guess. Uh, ha, 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 ha. All right, um, hey, there's a... Okay, speak with Musasai. Well, what do you got to say there, Musasai? Um, forgive me. I know it was wrong to force that fight upon you. Yet I find I do not regret having done so. It is reaffirmed beyond any doubt the promise I had glimpsed in you. Long and I search my native land for a pupil, but I found none fit to be a vessel for my knowledge. The problem, I concluded, lay in my pupil's way of thinking. The zeal with which they uphold tradition to the detriment of all else. study I believe um hmm. so it was that I set forth for a new land this is here place myself in the midst of your most able swordsman offering myself up as a spectacle, hopes of finding a worthy soul. Find my did in you. Now I realize how all this may appear. To you, I could be but a strange or fool, spouting nonsense. I'm well past caring about appearances. I say there is none other into whom I would pour my knowledge. So I ask you, will you consent to being my pupil? To come. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't want to be. <laughs> no, ah, nah, nah. <laughs> Just because you. You came all this way, did all this stuff, uh, you know, uh, to come so close, it falls short. But I am not one to give up so easily. Nay, I shall remain planted to this very spot in hopes. Hmm. Well, uh... I mean, just because you sound like a completely different guy than when we started, maybe that's that's the best reason to, uh, you know, to uh, to take you up on it. It kind of makes me kind of makes me wonder, you know, <laughs> where else might you be? Who else? What else? How else? Anyway, uh, what else have you got to say? Forgive me. I know it was wrong to force that fight upon you. But I find I do not regret having done so. It has reaffirmed beyond any doubt the promise I had glimpsed in you. Long did I search in my native land for a pupil, but I found none fit to be a vessel for my knowledge. Problem, 
I concluded, lay in my people's way of thinking. The zeal with which they uphold tradition to the detriment of all else. So it was that I set forth for a new land, this Eosia. Placed myself in the midst of your most able swordsman, offering myself up as a spectacle in hopes of finding a worthy soul. Find him I did in you. Now I realize how all this may appear. To you I could be but a strange or fool spouting nonsense. But I am well past caring about appearances. Speak with all honesty when I say that there is none other into whom I would pour my knowledge. So I ask you, will you consent to being my pupil? Well, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, there's, there's, there's stones and wall and, uh, you know, well, I guess, uh, you know, uh, things being what they are, uh, Ah, words cannot well express my joy. From this moment on, we are master and student. Now then, I would know your name. But what are you called? Uh, <laughs> Martin. It is a fine name. Without further ado, Martin, we shall commence your training. Pray, join me at the nearby tavern, this slick end. Uh. Hmm. Wonder where the, the slick, where's the, what do you think you meant by, uh, by the slick hand. <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, Hypogeum. Kind of like. Hmm. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, here we are at the uh, Gladiators Guild with the uh, great head here. And, uh, Let's see, uh, you know, uh, every man. <laughs> uh -huh. mm. 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 Yes, right. Uh, Is a he a she or a what? I do not know. Probably a she, maybe a he, maybe. It's quite the hair, though. That's very nice. Huh? Uh. Yeah, Zazariku. Um, Zazariku. That sounds. Very masculine, even for a lollafell, I guess. <laughs> um, even for a lollafell. Yeah, I mean, you know, with a lollafell, it sounds masculine for a lollafell. Um, uh, yeah, because my Modi, my Modi is feminine bunch of feminine Lollafell names and this one sounds very masculine uh, Zazariku so it'd probably be like you know some every man why did I anyway 
Oh, uh, yeah, I was trying to steal there. People of the desert. <sighs> Every man. <laughs> Every man, woman, and child in the world that knows the names of the great Colosseum champions. Well, that sounds more like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, uh, Lotteritu, uh, Lazaritu, Lotteritu, you know, the, the, uh, Zazaritu, Zantaritu, and uh, where's the memory store? Where is the memory store? I spend everything for one of those things. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Zazaritu, Lollarito, Lollarito, Lord Lollarito. That's that's starting to come closer. That sounds like it. Lorito, Lollarito, Lord Lollarito, Lollarito. Anyway, yeah, that, that kind of started to sound like him, I believe. Uh, man, woman, child, and old dog knows the names of the great Coliseum champions. Lord of Armigo, the Hellfire Phoenix, Twin Swords, No Thor. Under me, the Garnet Gladiator. Well, um, the Garnet Gladiator. Well, uh, yeah, where was I going? Oh, yeah, the, uh, Slick Sands, right? Um, uh, well, I think that I've finished one, one of the quests. Let's see. Uh, show, 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 I might, uh, after I finish this thing, jump over to Elden Ring and, uh, and see what's going on in the lands in between. Queen, just for the sake of movement, I guess. Uh, probably need to do the rest of these things. <laughs> this one was kind of a long one, I believe, uh, and I don't think that I can... Uh, Nope. Okay. No. Mama sigh. That slicks in. <laughs> Back at the Gladiator's Guild, Mama Sai confesses that his purpose for coming to Ulta and taking on challengers was in order to find a worthy new pupil. Find what he did in you. You accept the offer. Much is delight and relief. And without further ado, your training begins with the buzzing and bustle of the quicksand. Alright. Uh, well, what do you got to say there? Uh, Memo Saison. I'll begin at the very beginning in the distant past Gashi underwent the period of strife during which numerous opposing factions vied for supremacy the age of blood in this age Four men they took to battle with katana in the hand, and in the crucible of war art was forged the way of the samurai. Eventually, the realm was unified under one banner, the 
peace reigned once more. The people set aside the katana, save for we samurai, who continued to wield it as symbol of authority. And with that authority comes grave responsibility, protecting the peace. To ensure that the age of blood is never repeated, we samurai seek out the wicked and bring them to account. In so doing, we ward off chaos and preserve order in the realm. Such is our calling. In Gashi, or Aesir, matters not where we are. This calling guides us always. To that end, we shall journey the land, you and I, on a quest to right wrongs. As one who has grasped the foundations of our art, it is your soul's path to mastery. Our efforts begin in this very city. I shall cast about for evil that has taken root here, and then we may proceed to excise it. Well now, that certainly got exciting quick. Some even quicker thinking. I managed to set up a way to turn a tidy profit. Ah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Zico, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thanks to you, I found my pupil at long last. I pray that you will live comfortably with your winnings. Actually, I had a mind to join you. Wherever you go, I sense the coin will follow. And besides, it seems you're planning to root out evil in our fair city. If so, you'd do well to have me along. With my connections, I can procure the information you're likely to need. Then there's the small matter of your complete and utter lack of knowledge of the Aussie. There is that indeed. Had fate not seen fit to unite us, I never would have found my way here from Festa Bay. I wouldn't be standing here breathing. If anyone knows anything, it's me. You saved me from those cutthroat bandits when I tried recruiting them for the Coliseum. Terribly reckless in hindsight. As for you, my friend, to be marked out by old Mrs. I himself, it must be made of uncommon stuff indeed. Not to put the pressure on, but I have the highest hopes for you. And here we are, then. I shall undertake my search with Momosiko's help. Until such time as there are developments. Pray. Continue honing your newfound skills. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta read that again. <laughs> Not now. Uh, gotta heal my gear here. Uh, yes. Uh, I think I might switch over to Elden Ring now. Um, yeah, I mean, I gotta read it for, like, uh, clarity and whatnot. I mean, uh, comprehension, because there was a lot in there, and, uh, I would like to think about it. So I need to put these things, uh, awesome, that Moogle thing, the Moogle treasure troves on. 
So, like, might play Elden Ring for a bit. Come back, do a roulette or two to get some of the, uh... Some of the... Moogle Treasure Trove Toms. And... Then go run a couple miles and go to bed. <laughs> Or, you know, maybe just go to bed. Uh, maybe run a couple miles. Uh, it's dark, though. I believe. Uh, <sighs> maybe, though. Um, Nomad's Earrings of Slaying. Uh... stuff for, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, what you call it? The Garrow, the Garrow event. Um, uh, hmm, 84, 85, I don't think that I have any heirloom gear anywhere what does it look like I don't know maybe I should look at that piece oops uh, I need to do what I need to do as well uh let's see uh, that's pretty good looking I think uh decent that you gotta take that apart Maybe I should go ahead and do... How long do I have? I need to check. That one slot. Sell that. Sublime solution. Uh, 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 uh. Sell that here. Not there. Here. And... Uh, 18, 17, 88. somewhere. Uh, I've got some of it, I believe. I need to probably pull this earring apart. That I've got to keep for a little while, I believe. Uh, this, uh, i got to get rid of some earrings. Thanks so much, so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, that is one pointy hat. Uh, yeah, right. And I gotta keep it because it's right at the level that I can use. <laughs> and what about this thing? Um, yeah, that thing too. Okay, so earrings. I gotta make earring slots. Earrings, earrings, earrings. Uh, not right now. Uh, I think I might go do something else for a bit. Alright, so let's take a little break. Maybe do some Elder Ring, if you call that a break. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> Well, it just depends on where I go and what I do. Anyway, fairly well. 
evening. Perhaps I shall return here at some point and see what I can do. Maybe get a few more of the Moogle tomes and what have you. Uh, Riva Derchi.